Istanbul is the only transcontinental city in the world. More than 15 million people live here. Which makes it the seventh largest city in Asia and number one largest city in Europe. It is also the famous and well-known city in the world. With 12.56 million projected visitors in 2019, Istanbul outpaced New York and Singapore, climbing two spots to become the fifth most visited city in the world and has a much higher growth rate than Paris. Istanbul is the country's economic, cultural and historic center. This is the Bosporus Canal, the only in and out of the Black Sea. And the only access Russia has to the Mediterranean. It is also one of the world's busiest maritime passages. It is estimated that the strait makes way for around 48,000 ships annually, which is reportedly three and four times denser than the traffic of the Suez Canal and the Panama Canal respectively. But Turkey hasn't been able to collect any profit from this canal till this date, that's because of the Montreal Convention. A treaty signed in 1936 AD restricts military ships to pass through the Bosphorus Canal, but leaves free for commercial ships in exchange. This means that Turkey has been able to collect zero revenue from the Bosporus Canal, but Canal Istanbul will change that. You wanna know how? Here are 10 things you need to know about Canal Istanbul. The idea of building Canal Istanbul had existed for centuries. In the 1500s a Canal Istanbul was first proposed by Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent before being abandoned. Later on, several other sultans and politicians had proposed the idea, but again for unknown reasons and fewer ships and less traffic project was stopped. Finally in 2011, now current President Recep Tayyip Erdogan publicly announced his project. Canal Istanbul. After years of research and plan about the path of the canal and several rejections on the reports. On Jan 17, 2020, Environment Ministry gave approval. After approval of the final version of the Environmental Impact Assessment EIA, report of the Istanbul Canal project. The construction of the project is expected to start in the current year, as this year will witness the first step in the construction works of this new water canal. And is expected to be completed between the end of 2025 or the beginning of 2026. With the help of 8 to 10,000 people in the construction phase and 500 to 800 people in the operating phase. This is expected to be one of the biggest projects that Turkey will witness. The length of the new water canal will be about 45 kilometers long and at least 275 meters wide at the bottom and 360 meters at the surface. With a depth of 20 meters approximately, the same as the Suez Canal. Bigger than the Bosporus Canal. Which will help to pass many ships at the same time. Including big military vessels, but not the super big containers. Which was previously restricted on the Bosporus Canal. The estimated cost of Canal Istanbul is about 10 billion, adding the work cost of the Istanbul Canal will be a whopping 15 billion dollars. Making it one of the largest megaprojects that Turkey has been through in recent years. Which will help in various other reasons and will be a great decision if this project is successfully completed for Erdogan's government. Canal Istanbul may be funded through different public-private partnerships. There are rumors that there might be involvement of Chinese investment. The main objective of establishing the new canal is to ensure safety and comfort and security for marine navigation in Turkey by reducing the marine traffic congestion, pollution risks in the Bosphorus Strait. About 41,000 vessels of all sizes pass yearly through the Bosphorus Strait, among them 8,000 tankers carrying 145 million tons of crude oil, which is very dangerous and risky to pass from the main city area. This may result in an explosion of oils which is daily being transmitted by Russia. The new canal will link up with the new build 12 billion Istanbul airport which, when fully completed will be the largest airport in the world. Erdogan hopes the mega project breathes new momentum into the economy, creates jobs, and boosts his popularity ahead of the 2023 presidential elections. And create a successful alternate way to Bosporus Strait. According to the Turkish government, 
Canal Istanbul will generate about $1 billion per year, and the income will reach $5 billion per year when 50,000 ships cross the canal, which will boost its economy, tourism, and real estate around it. Bosporus has the capacity of passing 48,000 ships through this strait annually, three times denser than the Suez Canal traffic and four times denser than the Panama Canal. But the newly built Canal Istanbul will have the capacity of passing 68,000 ships annually, which will cut off long waiting times up to 14 hours and delays. Environment plans, the area between the Black Sea and Darusu Lake will be designated for parks, which is the area that will be leveled using the soils resulted from the project, where tourists can enjoy the view of the sea and the lake, which will boost the real estate of that particular area. The new canal will provide numerous urban projects and development. Earthquake-safe cities boasting some 250,000 residences are planned to be built on both sides of the canal. Six bridges will be built over the canal, transforming Istanbul into a city with two seas. Around 80% of Istanbul's citizens are against the project, as the project has serious ecological consequences, like contaminating Istanbul groundwater, destroying a major reservoir that provides for one-fifth of Istanbul's already strained drinking water supply, and giving it many threats. But according to critics, a lot of ships just aren't going to care and choose to continue Bosporus for free. Like who pays when there is a freeway through? And the result may not be in the favor of the Turkish government. If Turkey charges too much for their new canal then China just might end up building its own, with the help of Serbia and Greece, in order to get around the Bosporus. But if completed the project will provide some major benefits for Turkey. First of all the new canal will reduce a significant amount of pollution caused by a large number of ships in the Bosporus Strait into Istanbul. This means that Istanbul will be far away from harmful pollutions. The new canal will provide numerous urban projects and development. Earthquake-safe cities boasting some 250,000 residences are planned to be built on both sides of the canal. It will provide safety and more security to its nearby residents as well as its users. Will prevent and reduce the sea traffic problem the Bosphorus Strait is currently experiencing. If you guys like the content that we are making, then please make sure you support the channel by like, subscribe and comment, we'll be really appreciating.